and uh, yeah. We're harvesting potatoes today. It was lovely to welcome the Mayor to Growing Places here at Hillview Business Park in Claydon today. It was great to work in partnership with all the other businesses on site. Um, the Mayor had a, a look around the site and we explained a bit about what we do here at Growing Places. So the guys that attend here on funded placements can take part in all sorts of activities such as growing and harvesting all the vegetables and the plants on site and they get involved in some woodwork and some designing of the, the plan for the rotation of the crops. Um, the majority of the vegetables go into our box of veg scheme, so it's a commercial scheme that's open to the local communities where they can have a box of vegetables delivered as often as they like and the majority of the vegetables that go in the boxes are grown on site and packed by the guys that attend here on their placements. Family carers are people who look after a loved one, be it a family member or a close relative or friend, um, who has a long-term illness or condition. It could be mental ill health, it could be a physical disability. And without the care of the family carer, that person at home wouldn't be able to live a full life. Now, for most people, caring for a loved one is something that they're very happy to do. And if they have the support of relatives and friends and perhaps an income that supports them at home, then that's absolutely fine. But we're here for people who actually cannot cope with their caring role or need some additional help. And we support them in many, many different ways. We support them through information, advice and guidance. We can put them in touch with peer groups of other carers so that they can support one another. We do training, uh, we do resilience and confidence building for young people and also one-to-one -one support that is tailored to that family carer specifically. Actually, it is the first time we've ever uh, had a mayor in the room, so um, uh, we take this as a real interest in the work we do. We're delighted that you've chosen to come here. Our job is to bring, because some of us are family carers, um, is to bring pressure to bear, to help, to influence, uh, to just try and be a voice for carers and improve the provision for carers, basically. It's, it's kind of making me realise how much of healthcare actually goes on outside the hospital. Uh, United Response over the past 40 years has worked in partnership with people with learning disabilities, some with very, very complex needs. We know by using well-rehearsed methods now that we can support people with the most complex behaviours to live a good life in the community, live a very fulfilled and active life. Um, much better, much better outcomes, much cheaper than people being put in uh, assessment and treatment units. And that, that doesn't look like an Ipswich town strip. <laughs> Do you like Ipswich? No, I don't really <laughs> like Ipswich. But one of the schools actually said, can you come in and talk about the photography that we're doing? And he did. And suddenly they realised, because he's deaf and he was silent, they then said, oh, can you come actually to the school and teach? And so, so before he used to teach at the school, to <laughs> signing. Yeah. signing. Um, and then there was church magazine <laughs> said they wanted you to take some photos for them. So it kind of got people, so suddenly everyone knew who Neil was. UK Suffolk uh, local independent charity and we provide information, advice and a whole range of services for people over 60 and their family carers. The thing that um, amazed me when I first joined Age uh, UK a few years ago was just looking at the breadth of things we do, just an amazing number of things. I was helping people with all sorts of inquiries, some of them, quite a lot of them are people who are now becoming, finding very difficult dealing with what the government expects them to do in way of filling in forms and understanding things like their bills um, and I as a volunteer sort of front that. It's been brilliant to bring the Rural Coffee Caravan here to bring talk to the other partnerships. Um, we've got over 150 different organisations we deal with. It's good for people to see the vehicle that we push out into the rural areas, giving them a social space to sit and chat where big things happen once they get talking. Getting them out and talking is one of the main things. What we're there for is for the public to tell us uh, about their experiences of, of social care and health services. 
so that we can then use that intelligence, that information to influence uh, statutory organisations, commissioning bodies, providers to change what it is that they do for the better. We do it in a number of different ways. We signpost people, uh, we offer people an opportunity to provide us with comments in face-to-face -face or online or over the telephone by letter. Uh, we have uh, researchers, we have people who work on the ground, community development teams. Um, we have uh, statutory powers so we can um, go into a care home, for example, and do something called an enter and view with our volunteers. These are highly trained volunteers and they're there to really ha have an impression of the quality of life that people have there. Uh, by talking to staff, by talking to residents, family members, other, other professionals that are operating there. One of the most important things that I really want to get across, and the reason why we're all sitting here today, and you've got so many people speaking at you at the moment, uh, is that we can't do what we do without the partners. It's been a really brilliant opportunity today to get to meet the Mayor and to tell her all about our organisations, but additionally to be able to get to know each other and to talk about how we work together. It's very good to be involved in an event like today. Um, the different organisations on this park and other key local organisations really work together to try and make this a day that the Mayor will remember and to try and make the most of our opportunity um, to talk to her about what we think is special about our charity and why we really would like her support. Yeah, I think what we've discovered is that we do work closely with each other. We have lots of connections in terms of signposting, in terms of the people we support um, and that we, that we help. But perhaps strategically we haven't always had that connection, so this is a fantastic opportunity, as you've said. Mm -hmm.